Alright guys, this is my EDC video. Um, I shot it earlier today and I'm not going to change anything around. I just got back from outside and I haven't been able to upload any of the stuff that I... It won't import for some reason. I don't know why. I'm kind of pissed. So, sorry if I'm a little on edge. But I'm going to go through my stuff and that's basically the only thing I can do other than, here's a chew, um, that, that's basically all I can do. So just sit down and just make it. Uh, and the camera's sitting in the exact same spot, hadn't moved, other than taking it over to the computer and trying to import it for the past few hours. I don't know if the, it was corrupted or what. Anyway, so I just, you just saw me pull this out. This chapstick and a bottle that I usually keep pills in at least at least a day's worth at a time. Um, this is the Maximedition Ultraverse pack. Got this about two, three years ago. Um, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. I might have to make a jump cut because I think it might have been too long. You look on Dave Canterbury or Wilderness Outfitters. This is the uh, Guide Design 32 ounce bottle that he carries. This is his preferred carry. And to tell you the truth, you can't get better than that, really. Um, but I carry this every single day. Every single day for the past two years. I really don't switch out much. Um, I maybe switch a pocket or two um, and then if I'm going somewhere or uh, I have to carry some other shit I might do that. But what I carry on me every day I don't have a bunch of stuff that you know oh maybe I'll carry this, maybe I'll carry that. No. You need to make sure you can carry and you have a good idea of what you need every single day. That's what everyday carry means. Not, I might do this, I might carry this. Oh, I have 20 of this and 20 of that. Quit buying stuff. Make sure you know what you like. Paracord bracelet. Bought that. Bought that. Only because one ripped off of me. Alright, first off, now that I have this up, night eyes. I have four of these on here, because I'm handicapped. I can't do paracord or tie knots like I used to be able to tie knots. Um, whistle. Handkerchief. Pin light. Guide design. Yeah, you can eat it, whatever you want to call it. You can use it for a utensil. Brunton Adventure Compass. That's it for that. Um, I usually carry right up here. For the life of me, I cannot find it. I've been switching between my uh, trail pack that I'm getting ready to hike the Appalachian Trail with. And I'm sure I got it, but it's a 50-gallon Aquamara filter. Um, usually sits right here or right over here, but today I put this over here. Um, to, right here I have my, and if you look at my other videos, I usually have my Strike Force and my Leatherman Charge on me at all times um, and they're usually attached and I just, just so I don't lose them together um, the container thing look for the Six Sigma on Dave Canterbury's site Wilderness Outfitters and that's what he carries um, I bought this like I said a couple years ago uh, this is the first time I've showed my ABC this is the first time I've done a review on any of this um, Outside of this, 
I have a magnesium and a flint striker. And that's that. I have my char cloth and a tin. I carry that in. Chapstick. Sharpie. In this pocket, I have a lighter. This, I bought this at the Boat Sport Travel Show this weekend. Uh, this is about the same thing as the Micro Inferno. Roughly, it's just compressed and uh, it's in a tin. It's kind of like a gel stove type deal. But you can use them both as the same exact thing. So I'm going to keep this because there, I have a tin for it and it's waterproof. Or somewhat waterproof. I'd rather it be a little more aggressive threads. Gun safe key. It's a pre-made snare. Um, I have one, two, three, 25 foot lengths of paracord. And then I have knife sharp. From there, make sure I don't have anything else I'm forgetting down here in the middle. This last video really pissed me off, so that's why I've been messing with it for a couple hours. Uh, uh, I got a secondary sharpener, same basic sharpener, one might be fine, one might not be, but if you know how to sharpen a knife, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just got done shooting, so I got my CCI rounds in there. Um, Dave said, I tried, I've tried canola oil, he said he likes to use canola oil for his stuff. So I've been trying canola oil and it's actually worked pretty well. Other than that, I carry Lucas Oil. And it works really, really well for my US survival rifle that I've been messing around with. And I didn't have any problems with it today. This is just a small, like whittling, um, just a small bushcraft knife. I usually carry this clipper. This was sitting here, but I was sitting there from earlier. Clipper, I want to get a Kydex sheath for this, but for all the trail stuff I've been buying lately, I just can't afford to buy a Kydex sheath, and I lost the sheath for that one. So I, you know, I just picked this up. This was probably maybe 10 bucks at the show. Um, other than that, I always usually carry my Edible Wild Edibles book. Been messing with around with that for a while. Um, just got really extra involved with it lately. So, we'll uh, go from there. Pretty sure it went there. There. Um, told you what I usually carry in there. Uh, so we'll go from there to here. This never changes. This will never change and it has not changed forever. I mean, you should know what you need to carry no matter what. This is just one of the bracelets. You know, I bought a new bracelet. Just I'm going to end up busting these claps, clasps off um, and then running paracord through those that way it will not will not come off. I don't trust these clasps at all. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, emergency blanket. You can tell it's old and it's almost out of the package. It's been in there for a while. Um, hand warmers. This is one of them, but. These, all right, these are zip ties. Zip ties can be used for quite a few things, but what I like to use them for is if I'm, you know, putting a line up, you know, with my paracord, and the tree's not big enough for um, these bigger uh, night eyes, carabiner, 
figure nines, then, then I'll use these. And I'll clip them through there. I'll clip them through a tree. Depends on, because I cannot tie a knot very well and, uh, you know, a slip knot or a, a, I can't even think of what it is now. I'm just trying to make this video so it doesn't get cut and I don't lose clips right now because I really, really, I've been dealing with a bunch of editing stuff and it sucks. Okay, so from there... I usually I keep my right in the rain notebook. This is the original one I I bought. I have a few other notes in here, but I also keep a twenty dollar bill in here. And one. It's a small blade, but my uh, or a saw. My Leatherman charge has. Probably the most aggressive blade, or was rated the most aggressive blade of all type of stuff. Okay, here's next thing. I have a. Uh, it's basically it's a lock pick. It will pick just about any lock. I'm not going to open it up. I bought it a couple years at the boat sport and travel show a couple years ago, or the gun knife show. This, I lost my wallet. A few. A week ago, last Sunday, last Saturday, I was at the bank. I took off and it was on my truck box. Anyway, I had backup identification. Either this or anything else, but regardless, I have my whole family's copies of all their birth certificates and social security, life, you know, licenses and all that on here. And so does the rest of my family. Um... Next thing is this. I had to remake this because of losing my wallet. This is a, uh, this is foil. This is just foil. Heavy duty foil wrapped up. This is just my reward zone card because otherwise it's going to end up bending and doing all this junk in your wallet if you pull it out do not you know whatever you want to call it it it'll end up crumpling pulling it out doing whatever if you have to pull anything out this is 100 mile an hour tape wrapped around just a little bit of card stock or I didn't have an old credit card left I usually use that but it has a safety pin and a razor blade in it I'll tell you right now I went whitewater rafting a couple years ago, and this right here broke. The stitching right here, I jumped off a cliff into the water, and it just went or whatnot. And uh, so I had to tape this all up. My buddies were like, what the hell are you doing with this much duct tape in your wallet? I was like, really? It don't matter. I have it. I can use it. They, have no, they don't have the mindset that I have. You know, so they they don't under they don't really understand. So other than that, you know, I have a couple carabiners. I have the night eyes mostly, I have the big night eyes, small night eyes. Um, I have the, some of the S clips. Um, I have my flashlight. I don't have a headlamp, which I need. I'm going to buy two of those for the trail. Um, I have a monoscope right here. It's a cheap monoscope. It works really well, actually. And then this. This comes in really, really handy. Um, if I'm out doing stuff, it's a hot day, you know, it doesn't really depend, matter what I'm doing. But my glasses fog up, and you, you're really almost useless if your glasses are fogging up. So you put a couple drops on the inside of these, or the outside, you know, but mostly the inside. But they'll keep it from fogging up. Um, something I pulled out of here I didn't really mention, but I usually wear a, oh, uh, here we go. Usually wear a uh, earpiece 
And that's so if I'm out m messing around, dirt time, whatever you want to call it, out in the woods, I'm grabbing branches, I'm using a stick to hike or whatever you want to do, it's there. And uh, so that's my EDC. This is a quick, real quick run through of it. I'm trying to be as quick as I can because I've already made this video once today and I really don't want to make it twice. Um, I've been out shooting for some of the day and it's getting late and I, I just so you know maybe this will help somebody out maybe it won't maybe some people have the same idea but I'm pretty sure not everybody does and not carry everything that I carry but I have special I guess almost special needs um, so I need to carry certain things uh, during the you know this does not change will not change the only thing that changed was this this and my clipper I lost the sheath to I want to get kydex but I can't afford it right now so if anybody has an old kydex sheath for a clipper Help me out, bud. Um, other than that, you know, I got my gloves, my hat, and the rest of it. So I hope this goes up, and uh, you guys take care, and have a good evening. Please, please, please.